Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. It's a full moon in Capricorn. I know there's some sort of like full moon in Capricorn song. It could even be a full moon in Capricorn dance. I've seen some funny full moon dances on uh, the internet. <laughs> be careful if you Google that. Be careful. Things you can't unsee. There is sniz on the tarot table. Let's get rid of that. Probably brought in by the mother cats. The mother cats, who I've taken a picture of actually, I think I'll put it on the community channel, who um, comes in, I don't know if she secretly doesn't like the tarot thing, you know, Leia, Valley Bob's mum, because she does just come in and chuck stuff all over the floor. I'll be downstairs, I've got wooden floorboards, and I will just hear this thud. There was that time she kicked the crystal ball on the floor and then kicked it under the bed. Believe me, that thing takes some kicking. And then other times there's a thud as my crystals, which I think I've only got about two left. Crystals are all over there. There's one there. Crystals hit the deck. And then sometimes just the cards, Chuck Spezzano can just be like all over the shop. She's like, yeah, Chuck Spezzano. <laughs> Maybe she knows something we don't. Okay, ho, ho, ho. I'm using Rider Waite because it's a full moon in Capricorn. For some reason, I feel it's really significant. My moon is in Capricorn, that might be why. It's just me, me, me. <laughs> and I couldn't decide which deck to use because I got all, it's really significant. Let's use a really significant deck about it. And then, of course, that just got me into a Piscean frenzy of indecision, which is something we do very well. So, we're going Rider right Waite because Rider right Waite is the bog standard, you know, and that is not to degenerate the Rider right Waite. Is that even a word? Um, I love the Rider right Waite because most other base... Oh, my God, can't speak today. Most other decks are based on it anyway. Not all, but many. I definitely have hay fever today. Okay, you'll have to bear with me. Hay fever makes me slightly bonkers as well as a bit <laughs> like this. The boy has hay fever too. Oh, the boy does like 20 micro sneezes as soon as he wakes up. And I'm, I'm just sitting there with like tissue, tissue, tissues going. <laughs> so I feel sorry for him. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Full moon in Capricorn. The king of pentacles is here. He's almost king Capricorn. He is earthy and authoritative and structured in the same way that Saturn is that rules Capricorn. It feels like there's two kind of forces fighting with each other here. King of Pentacles and then the Eight of Pentacles. Eight's a movement, okay? We had the Eight of Wands yesterday and the Eight of Swords. They were kind of competing with each other. One was for restriction, one was for movement. This, I think it's Sun in Virgo, this, which is the card of... Again, structure, look at those, knocking out identical pentacles and then that even rhymed, sticking them up on the thing, you know. Oh, hello. I would find that necessary but tricky and I feel that that is the energy of full moon in Capricorn because underneath this sensibleness and the desire to be sensible and to nail things to the wood and have a good old look at them as the King of Pentacles would, because he's kind of like the chief accountant. You know, he's Midas, he's got the money, etc. My nose is gonna start strip, excuse me. I'm like, I haven't got any tissues left because the boy has had them all. And in a minute, I have to use my t-shirt or use you, Valentine. She would probably quite like that. She can be quite disgusting. Anyway, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, taking account and building. It's also, just on a complete side note, 
to do with backs and spines. So you may find a back issue comes to fruition or hurts because full moons are about burgeoning. We've got discs like that. That was my impression of a, a vertebrae disc thing. So you may get, just watch your back is what I'm trying to say in more ways than one. Just watch your back, support your back, don't get heavy lifting. You know, if you've got back pain, see a decent GP, chiropractor, whatever it is. Now, underneath this rather wholesome, let's do the right thing, I'm chipping away and I'm building type energy, is a little different story, which doesn't behave in the way that Capricorn would like it to behave. The lovers, smack bang in the middle and the first card out. Gemini, it's called Gemini because of the twins and because the lovers is about two things, choices. Used to be called the choice. More sniz on the tarot table. It's a major arcana card. The full moon in Capricorn will cause us to assess an offer or a choice. If this is about work, it's a re-offer of an old job or something that between you and the boss has come before. If I'm making sense today, I've got hay fever head. If it's about love, it's a re-offer of an old choice about love. Page of Cups is here, making another offer. Eight of Cups is here. We've got, we had, that's four eights now in two days. These two are competing. Hello Val, how are you? You got a scritchy scratch. Ooh, quick scratch and back to sleep, isn't it? Two eights, Eight of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles. Cups, feelings, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this aspect is Saturn in Pisces. Pisces, I love the cups. Mm, cups, let me out the cups. Good cups. Okay, I can say that because I am one. Saturn, no Pisces. You know this isn't good for you. You know that they're not good for you. You know that that's not good for you. You know that particular job's not good for you. That person, whatever it is, walk away in your red wellies and your red coat. Bit of a weird combo. Now, listen, okay, Eight of Pentacles, the, this is the uh, good girl, good boy card. I'm working hard, I'm doing the biz, I'm nailing my stuff to the mast, everyone can see it. Due diligence, well done, but this is complicated. This is, uh, if it's love, because these three cards, then a lover comes back reverses walking away or you do or you both do or it just there it is again there will need to be some assessment of it don't rush capricorns don't rush knight of wands in reverse don't wash don't wash don't wash just stink it out don't rush be wary if they're in a rush the Wheel of Fortune sticking there in reverse. It's time for a drink of tea. Yes, it's a massive mug. <laughs> Answer me this as well. Why is it that nearly, I don't know if I could show you without spilling it. Probably not. This could be a really interesting thing, couldn't it? Why is it that nearly all herbal tea looks like old wee okay and quite honestly probably tastes like it as well lemon ginger and manuka honey mm-hmm oh christ right it does do the job this is two threads if only it was this simple folks <laughs> if only it was that simple now we need some guidance for this I want a couple more cards. I'm going for Tarot of the Old Path. When you get the lovers, when you get the choice, <clears throat> and this is a quite a Saturnian thing as well, you'll be expected to make some form of sacrifice for what you choose. Oh, 
Oh, you. You, my old chestnut. <laughs> you came up yesterday. Oh, wow. Itchy nose. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There is unrest here. And itchy noses. Okay. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Eight of Swords again. Three eights on the table. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Whether we like it or not, there is movement because we're full of eights, okay? But it's complicated. I'm not going to pretend it's not because we have three fives now. Knight of Wands, Five of Wands in reverse. That's good, actually. Page of Cups. Five of Swords in Reverse. When you get the Five of Swords in Reverse, it's a power flip because the Page of Cups, who's coming towards you with either an offer of an old job or an offer of an old love, whatever it is, it was something they held over you at one time with that Five of Swords. In other words, they held out on you and you wanted it. That old power imbalance between two people. But now, they want it and you might hold out on them. That's, that's as simple as I can get. For the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They left you out in the cold and now they want to come back. We have three fives on the table. Five is a number of discord and change up and the switch. It's good, but you're going to feel cautious. King of Pentacles, fall in reverse. You're going to think, I'm not going to let this person take me for a fool again, whether it's love or whether it's job. And for the lovers in the middle, the Four of Cups. I'm going to hold on to my emotional hat. It's almost like... The complicated stuff's already out there, but the moon in Capricorn makes you sensible. But actually, when complicated stuff meets sensible, you get a little bit of a standoff. Eight of Swords. I wish I could make it clearer. I know some of you are going to be frustrated, because this is a frustrating reading, actually. Yeah, that card's come up loads. It's come up in tons of private readings as well recently. I should have known. Flexible. Nothing set in stone as we would like it to be, people. You can nail your pentacles to the mast all that you like. I don't know if it will change anything. We got that card, I think, yesterday or the day before. Freedom and bazoomers. We are working our way towards something with a mixture. We're actually doing quite well. Because the energies that are coming in this reading are disparate and difficult and challenging and messy as, okay? And the full moon in Capricorn is the best chance we've got of releasing some kind of sensible, sensibleness. I think I said that yesterday about it. It's the best chance we've got. But even then, it's tatty around the edges and we can't tidy that up. Let it be, let it be messy, have faith it's going somewhere, be flexible in your approach. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.